This video demonstrates how to upgrade a forked repository. So here, here this is my official repository. Actually, I forked this repository to here. So you can see the puppet RGL repository here. This is the forked repository, and this one is the official repository. So here you can see it has thousand more than thousand uh, one thousand commits so here it's only 974 commits so here master is around 20 around 30 commits back here master so i am going to update this master the master of this forked repository so for that what I am going to do is first I am going to clone this forked repository to my laptop just copy the URL then git clone ok done then go to the go to the directory then let me check the branches it has only one branch actually it has couple of other branches now I am not I'm not going to check out that one so I am going to update only the master branch then let me check the remote JIT remote minus C. So this is the fork repository. It's in my it's in my account. Then so before that let me check the last commit JIT log minus N2. Here I can see the last commit is commit ID is this one. Let me copy this one this is the last commit ID ok so we can just compare it later then let me go here actually here we can see the commit ID last commit ID is sending with uh, can see here it's 3444 let me copy this one this is the last commit ID this is the last commit ID of the forked repository forked repos the last commit ID of forked repository then go to the official repository and find the last commit so here let me copy the commit ID so I think you can remove this thing we don't need official repo last commit ID this is the last commit ID for couple last commit ID okay now go back okay I just noted the last commit ID of fork repository and the official repository okay the next step is I cloned it then next step is we need to add the remote which point to the official repository so we need to add one more remote which point to the official repository so this is the official repository so we need to add one more remote actually right now it has only one remote JIT remote 
minus v okay see it has only one remote that's the origin so i am going to add one more remote which point to the official repository okay i added it if you check the jit remote minus v we can see one more remote this is the original um, remote which point to the fork repo this is the remote which point to the official repository okay so add then then we need to fetch latest version of master from the official repo official repository to fetch the latest version of master from official repository we need to run this command git fetch then the remote name of the official repository this remote name official underscore remote that we have to give here git to fetch official underscore remote this will fetch the latest version of master from official repository see out after that if you run git branch you can't see you cannot see the multiple you cannot see multiple master still it, it, it show only the one only one master this master is the master of fork repository but it fetched the data from official repository that data is there in this repository now what we have to do is we have to rebase we have to update the master of fork repo that is it it take new commit from the master of the official repo and put it in the master of fork repository so so the for that we need to uh, run this rebase command so first go to first check we are right now we are in master of fork repository from here we need to run the this rebase command git rebase then name of the official uh, official remote then slash master so this master actually you can see here it's fetched that data this this uh, git fetch official uh, this official underscore remote command fetched the master from this official repository see that you can see here actually this name we have to give here so when we run this command it rebase official underscore remote underscore remote uh, slash master this command will fetch the latest commit from this branch and put it in the master branch of the fork repo so let me run it you can see it's updated now try git log minus n2 so earlier the last commit was this one 443 see this was the last commit now after rebase the last commit is this one see correct right so now we we have up updated the master of fork report to the let us turn now what we need to do we need to push this change to the github in this github still it's in the still it's in some commits back you can see it here here it's thousand one more than one thousand so i am going to push it git push origin master So let me just refresh here. See now it's updated. The commit number of commit is same here in the official repository and in the fork repository number of commit is same. Okay. 
now if you want to if you want to create some pull request just create a branch for example that branch then give your name name for the branch okay then sit branch so check check out to that branch then what you have to do is here here we can make your changes in this branch uh, in this branch you can make your changes then commit it then push push that branch to the fork repository then that branch will come here from here you can make the pull request to the your official repository that pull request will come here then after review that will get merged into the official repository okay so that is the flow